So I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the process of cleaning out a flood damaged home and some of the safety uh, precautions that need to be taken. The first thing as you enter, before you even enter a home, is looking at the exterior of the house and making sure it's structurally sound so it's safe to enter. Uh, consider the utilities, uh, electric, gas, make sure you talk to your local utility providers and uh, basically make sure the electric and the gas is turned off so it's safe to enter the house. Uh, these type of notices that should be provided from your local uh, utility providers, maybe some city notices for inspections, those are things to look for. Um, when in doubt, call the city or your county, make sure that it's safe to go into your house before you enter. Okay, then as we enter the house, Now keep in mind, this house here has been uh, partially gutted and worked on. But look at the floors. Uh, you can see here, in this case, uh, some damage to the floors, some warping. The floors have come up in some areas. That's all as a result of the flood. We have uh, some fans going to keep ventilation. This house here was built in 1928, and so it has um, what we call a plaster and lath type system. And uh, you can see here in this house, we've removed most of that uh, up to the water level. If you come back through here, you can see on this door, the water line, how high the water has become from the flood. But if you look up here on this piece of plaster that's left, you can see that the water was actually wicked up to this level here. There's dry plaster here and wet here. So we tried to remove as much of that as possible to allow ventilation through because of mold and, and other um, problems that can